these are the birthdays that uh, happened on December 25th. Okay, so it wasn't just Jesus Christ. We've had many gods, sun gods, Egyptian, Greek, Roman gods who were born on December 25th. And here's a short list of those birthdays. So we got Saturn. Saturn is an ancient Roman god and a major character in Roman mythology. Saturn was the first god of the capital. Saturn was the god of generation, dissolution, plenty, wealth, agricultural, uh, agriculture, periodic renewal, liberation, and god of time. Saturn's reign was de depicted as a golden age of plenty and peace. Saturday is named after the Roman god Saturn. Saturn's birthday was December 25th. Sol Invictus, the unconquered sun. Sol Invictus was the official sun god of the Roman Empire before Constantine. In 274 AD, Roman Emperor Aurelian made it an official cult, uh, the cult of Sol Invictus, alongside traditional Roman uh, cults. This god was favored by Roman emperors after Emperor Aurelian had endorsed it and appeared on their coins until Constantine in 325 AD. The unconquerable son's birthday was December 25th. Apollo. Apollo is a Greek and Roman god, a beardless youth, a Greek and Roman god, a light, sun, truth, prophecy, healing, plague, music, and poetry. Apollo is the son of Zeus and Leto and has a twin sister, the chaste huntress Artemis. Apollo's birthday is December 25th. Addis of Fa. Let's see. Fig. Phrygia. Addis of Phrygia. Addis of Phrygia is a Greek god. Possibly a man was born around 1200 BC of a virgin mother. Um, of a virgin mother named Nana on December 25th. Addis of Phi. Phrygia. P H Y R G I A Fear Fyrgia was a shepherd. So Addis of Fyrgia was a shepherd and got pissed off one day and castrated himself. Just cut off his fucking balls at least, possibly his dick too, under a pine tree. Which then he doored, uh, died. <laughs> he doored. He uh, died shortly afterwards. Under that same pine tree, so Addis, the ancient Phygo, Roman, and Greek god, Addis was born of a virgin Nana, um, Greece, let's see, 1200 BC, December 25th is his birthday, after Addis of Phrygia died three days later, he was resurrected from the dead at Easter on the spring vernal equinox, Addis of Phrygia Figri <laughs> was born on December 25th. Bacchus, a.k.a. Dionysus, the Greek god of wine, partying in ecstasy, was born of a virgin mother on December 25th. He was the son of Zeus, the most powerful god on Mount Olympus. Zeus's Bacchus Dionysus would change water into wine so he could do miracles just like Jesus. He appeared with 12 figures. Bacchus Dionysus bears the epithets such as the only begotten son and savior. Dionysus was the king of kings, God's only begotten son, the Alpha and the Omega. Dionysus resurrected after three days and ascended into heaven. Helios is the personification of the sun in Greek mythology. Helios was a handsome god born on December 25th who drove the golden chariot of the sun. As time passed, Helios was identified with Apollo, the god of light. They are different since Helios is a titan and Apollo was an Olympian. The equivalent of Helios in Roman mythology was Sol, specifically Sol Invictus, the unconquerable sun. Horus, the Egyptian god Horus, was the god of war, revenge, protection, and of the sun. Horus was born on December 25th. Horus was born of a virgin in a swamp. There is a star in the east. Horus was adored by three kings. Horus was a teacher by the time he was 12 years old. Horus had his baptism in ministry at 30 years of age. Horus' miracles included healing the sick and walking on water. Horus had 12 disciples. That was Egypt, 3000 BC on December 25th. Horus was called the Lamb of God, the Light, the Good Shepherd. Jupiter is the main god. Like Zeus. Zeus would be the Greek counterpart. 
the Greek doppelganger Zeus. <laughs> Zeus is Jupiter's Greek doppelganger, and Jupiter is Zeus's Roman doppelganger. Right? They uh, match each other. Neptune and Pluto were Jupiter's brothers, and they ruled over the sky waters and the underworld together. Jupiter is a sky god who used the thunderbolt, just like Zeus, and the eagle is associated with him. Jupiter was born on December 25th. Krishna was born of a virgin. Krishna performed miracles, had disciples. Krishna resurrected. Krishna of India, ancient Kemet, Egypt, had a number of messengers who were divinely conceived, and two of them bore the name Krishna or Krishna the Savior. Krishna was born of a chaste virgin called Devaki, who on account of her purity was selected to become the mother of God. Krishna of India, born on December 25th. 3228 BC. His mother was a virgin. His mother's name was Maya, M A I A. The name Krishna means black or dark. His uncle Kamsa, the ruler at the time of his birth, sought to kill Krishna because he had heard a prophecy that said Krishna would overthrow him. Krishna escaped death by being smuggled out of the area to safety, just like King Herod and Jesus. Krishna, 1400. BCE, possibly as early as 5,771 BCE, was born of the virgin Devaki, which means the Divine One, on December 25th. December 25th, same day as Jesus, and the same day as every other one of these gods, Jupiter, Horus, Helios, Bacchus, Attis of Figria, Apollo, Sol Invictus, Saturn. All of them were born on December 25th. It's Jupiter, Horus, Helios, Bacchus, Attis of Figria, Apollo, Sol Invictus, Saturn. All of them were born on December 25th. It's Jupiter, Horus, Helios, Bacchus, Attis of Figria, Apollo, Sol Invictus, Saturn. All of them were born on December 25th. Every single one of them. Krishna's birth was signaled by a star in the east, attended by angels and shepherds, at which time he was presented with spices. Krishna was persecuted by a tyrant who ordered the slaughter of thousands of infants. Krishna worked miracles and wonders, raised the dead, healed lepers, the deaf, and the blind. Krishna used parables to teach people about charity and love, and he lived poor and he loved the poor. Krishna gave his twelve disciples the ability to work miracles. Krishna died on a tree, was crucified between two thieves. Krishna killed around the age uh, was killed around the age of thirty, and the sun darkened at his death. Krishna rose from the dead and ascended to heaven in the sight of all men. Krishna depicted on a cross with nail holes in his feet as well as having a heart emblem on his clothing. Krishna was called the shepherd of God and was considered the redeemer. Firstborn, sin bearer, liberator, universal word, deemed the Son of God and our Lord and Savior who came to earth to die for man's salvation. The second person of the Trinity, his disciples purportedly bestowed upon him, bestowed upon him the title Jesus or Jesus, looks like Jesus, J E S E U S, uh, meaning pure essence. So, the, his disciples had called him Jesus. Uh, his disciples called Krishna Jesus. So, Krishna was born on December 25th. Mithras is the Persian Roman god Mithras. Uh, it was a Roman god Mithras. He had 12 disciples. Mithras was called the truth, the light. Mithra was dead for three days. Then Mithra resurrected on the 3rd and 4th centuries AD. The cult of Mithra Carried and supported by the soldiers of the Roman Empire was the chief rival to the newly developing religion of Christianity. The Roman emperors Commodus and Julian were initiates of Mithraism. In 307, Diocletian consecrated a temple on the Danube River to Mithra, protector of the empire. Mithra of Persia was born on December 25th. Before 1500 BC, his birth was witnessed by shepherds that brought gifts to honor him. Mithras was a mediator between God and man. The ideas of humility and brotherly love, baptism, the rite of communion, the use of holy water, the adoration of shepherds at Mithras' birth, the adoption of Sundays and of December 25th being Mithras' birthday. 
As holy days and the belief in the immortality of the soul, the last judgment and the resurrection were similar to Christianity's. Mithraism, Mithraism, Mithraism differed from Christianity in the exclusion of women from its ceremonies and in its willingness to compromise with polytheism. The similarities, however, made possible the easy conversion of its followers to Christian doctrine. Myth Persia, 600 BCE or 1500 BCE, was born on December 25th in a cave, and his birth was attended by shepherds bearing gifts. Mithras was considered a great traveling teacher and master, had 12 companions or disciples who were promised immortality. Mithras performed miracles. The great bull of the sun, Mithras, sacrificed himself for world peace. He's buried in a tomb. After three days, he arose again. Resurrection was celebrated every year. Mithras was called the Good Shepherd. Identified with both the Lamb and the Lion, considered the way, the truth, and the light, and the Logos, Word, Redeemer, Savior, Messiah. The sacred day was Sunday, the Lord's Day, hundreds of years before the appearance of Christ. He had his principal festival on what was later on to become Easter. His religion had a Eucharist or Lord's Supper, with which Mithra said, He who shall not eat of my body nor drink of my blood, so that he may be one with me and I with him, shall not be saved. His annual sacrifice is the Passover of the Magi, a symbolic atonement, a pledge of moral and physical regeneration. Nimrod, the son of Ishtar. Nimrod, full-grown evergreen tree, claimed that after the untimely death of her son, husband Nimrod, a full-grown evergreen tree sprang up overnight from a dead tree stump. Semi Aramis claimed that Nimrod would visit that green, evergreen tree and leave gifts each year on the anniversary of his birth, which just happened to be on December 25th. So Nimrod was born on December 25th, according to Semi Aramis. Perseus, the legendary founder of Mycenae, E, M Y C E N A E, end of the Persei dynasty of Dan Danans Danans. Shit, uh, was the first of the heroes of the Greek mythology. Perseus, whose exploits in defending various archaic monsters provided the founding myth of the twelve Olympians. Perseus beheaded the Gorgon Medusa and saved Andromeda from the sea monster Cetus. Or Celtus, Cetus, Cetus. That was Perseus. Tammuz, born before 2600 BC. Tammuz was hailed as the only begotten son of the god Ea. Ea. His mother was a virgin by the name of Ishtar or a virgin named Mylitta. And Tammuz was born on December 25th. So he's born on December 25th, just like Perseus was, and just like Nimrod. Queen Ishtar was born out of heaven in a giant egg, landed in the Euphrates River at sunrise on the first Sunday after the spring vernal equinox. Ishtar then busted out of the egg and turned a bird into an egg-laying rabbit. To honor this event, pagan sun worshippers would go out early in the morning and face to the east to watch their sun god arise over the horizon before having a mass sacrifice in which the priest of East Ishtar would sacrifice three month old human infants and take the eggs of Easter and dye them in the blood of the sacrificed infants. The blood red colored Easter eggs would later hatch on December 25th, the same day her son Tammuz, the reincarnate sun god, would be born. So he was born on December 25th. Tammuz uh, had died because he went pig pig hunting and he was gored to death by a wild boar and that's why pagans eat ham on Easter Sunday because Tammuz was killed by a wild boar also since he was killed when he was 40 years old the pagans fast one day for each of the years that he lived leading uh, into the uh, culmination of the 40 days of weeping for Tammuz uh, on Easter Sunday, the practice is known as weeping for Tammuz by pagans, but is called Lent by Catholics. Buddha, also known as Bidal, uh, Fot, F-O-T. Buddha was a god, and Buddha was born of a virgin whose name was the Holy Ghost, descended upon the virgin Maya. Buddha of India was born on December 25th, 563 B.C. 
December 25th. His mother's name was Maya, which is similar to Mary. She's a virgin. Buddha was immaculately, uh, immaculately conceived, and at his birth, he announced that he was a savior to the world. His birth was announced by a star. At Buddha's birth, he was visited by wise men who declared that they had seen the signs of his birth, that is to say, the signs of his royal birth. Buddha's name was Siddhartha Gautama. Uh, 563 BCE, Buddha was born on December 25th, born of the Virgin Maya, the Queen of Heaven, announced by a star and attended by wise men, presenting costly gifts, taught in the temple at age 12 and was able to match the wise religious scholars in their understanding. Buddha healed the sick. Buddha fed 500 from a small basket of cakes. Buddha walked on water.